as you sit here and look around, everything you see, except for the hillside off in the distance, is a result of somebody's generosity. Someone gave the money, gave the time, gave the energy for this place to be, for this opportunity for us to practice. So we're in debt. But it's a good debt to take on, because the way it's repaid is through the practice. There's a passage in the canon where the Buddha talks about one of the motivations for practicing is that the higher your level of attainment, the more the people who have been generous to you will benefit from their gifts. So have a strong sense that you are in debt. So the times when you feel a little bit lazy to practice or say, well, maybe not so much today. Think about the fact that the food you're eating, you're eating in debt. The places you're living in, you're living in in debt. But as I said, it's a good debt to take on. Because on the one hand, things come this way not because anybody was forced to give. People gave of their own free will. And the repaying of the debt is through the practice. So use that thought to give yourself energy. Because your energy will have its ups and downs. There will be days when there isn't that much energy to practice. And you need tools to remind yourself that the fact that you're alive means you're living in dependence. Think about that reflection we have on the four requisites, food, clothing, shelter, and medicine. The simple fact that we have a body means that we have to get these things. And if they're not given to us, if we're going to survive, we have to take them. So here we have the luxury of the things being given to us. But don't just wallow in that luxury. Take advantage of the fact that we're living in a blameless way. And you want to move on to something even higher, a state of the mind in which there is no debt to anybody. So use these thoughts when you need them, when you need the energy, when you need the impetus to keep on practicing a little bit more, a little bit more. Remind yourself that you're not the only one who's benefiting from the practice. People who have given to the monastery will benefit too. People who have supported the, pro the practice all along will benefit. Because this is a practice that spreads its goodness all around. <laughs>